I was making dinner one day. She always wanted to be on the counter next to me, and so I set her up on the counter while I was cutting something, and she was holding on to the counter like she, kind of like if you're afraid of heights and you're trembling, she was trembling. I met Liviana Price many years ago. We had just opened our first clinical trial on this disease, but we couldn't enroll her because she already had symptoms of the disease. Metachromatic leukodystrophy is one of the most severe lysosomal disorders. The disease is fatal. It leads to a progressive loss of motor and cognitive functions. Amy would take care of her during the day and I'd get home and be with her all night. And I think my favorite memories of her were in those times, because even though towards the end, obviously she couldn't talk, but you could, we had a communication that was, I don't know, more than words could explain. Gene therapy is a treatment modality based on the use of DNA, of genes, in order to compensate for a genetic deficiency or instruct cells of patients with a new function that could be therapeutic. We can take cells from patients, modify them and reinfuse them, or infuse our gene therapy drugs directly into the patients. We collected his blood forming stem cells, we genetically modified them, and we reinfused these cells into his body after the administration of a chemotherapy. Giovanni should not be here. He's past his life expectancy. And not only is he here, but he's probably building something with his Legos right now or riding his bike or playing soccer in the yard. So he's a normal eight-year-old boy. The reason we brought her here is because she represented expertise in types of gene therapy that we had no expertise in here and was a world leader in that. She made the cells super producers of the protein that was missing. I think the most inspiring thing I ever done in my life has been really being able to move preclinical research into patients. And uh, what we have observed in patients has really uh, been astonishing to us. Ceci came to us a few years later, and unfortunately she was affected. We rushed and uh, we exploited all of the time we had in order to get her treated early, and as resulted in an outstanding benefit. You walk in and you see Cecilia, and as she wrapped you up like that, you're like, man, this not only saves lives, but it saves lives, you know, like her to where she's gonna do something in her life, to where she's gonna make a difference. And Giovanni, and it's so much hope. The really exciting new insight is that in addition to doing a standard bone marrow transplant, Dr. Biffy is actually transplanting the gene-modified cells directly into the brain to accelerate the replacement of the brain cells that are defective in these diseases. Her approach could be used for adult diseases. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, even uh, Alzheimer's disease. The platform she's developing could be applied to these uh, adult diseases. Dr. Biffy and the research and work on gene therapy and her being at Boston Children's helps me know that there is hope in being able to treat this diagnosis and being able to have some answers and see your child's milestones and go to school and make friends and have sleepovers and all those things that I think we take for granted with our children.